Hey, we're back. What's up, guys? <laughs> anyway, I'm back. Oops, I'm on my address to show. And I want to show you my oils that I have. Uh, and then I'm going to put every all my oils together. These are oils that I had before the Vitacost order. So if you have not watched the Vitacost video to see what I'm talking about, go back to that video. Oh, well, actually, you know what? I'm going to probably put these videos together. Oh, you know what? Maybe not. This is going to be a separate video. So this is the video of my current oils. This is the applicator I have. I got this from my mom. I'm going to make her um, some oils in here. This is one of my oils I use for hot oil treatment. So um, it's a mixture of oils. Um, can't remember. I know I have olive oil in here. I have... Um, I can't remember everything I have in here, but I know this is really good. I love this oil. I use it on my daughter's hair. So this is a um, 16 ounce applicator. So now, and this right here is my anti-itch scalp oil that I made up. And it has um, Jamaican black castor oil, um, salsa or like a growth oil, um, olive oil, tea tree oil, and rosemary oil in here and I use this when um, I just feel my scalp needs it it's itchy or something I use this and it's really good um, it smells kind of like slightly medicated but since I have the grapefruit oil I'm gonna add some of that in here to cover up some of that smell but I like it and my hair have not been itching like crazy I decided to do this route then going in the beauty supply stores buying that stuff um, it says olive or no it says coconut oil I bought one and if you turn that stuff around and look at it it has a bunch of other stuff in there that you really don't need so I decided to go the natural way and create my own oils now this spray bottle I bought before I start buying the other oils I have uh, from the guy who did my locks the last time. Um, his name is Fabio. <laughs> so I did a picture on Facebook. This smells so good, so good. I believe I don't know how he mixed it, but from what I see, it's water and it's some um, the orange oil, or I think he told me tangerine oil and water. But I use this, like, you know, when you want to pick me up, you want to freshen your hair, you know, for those with natural hair, I wouldn't suggest someone with press hair or perm, but for people that have, wear their hair curly or, and, or they have locks, this, oh gosh, my locks were smelling so good. I was passing my people, I was smelling like a big old orange. So I like that. So now let's get to my oils that I have on deck already. I have rosemary oil. Now, these um, essential oils have to be mixed with carrier oils. Carrier oils are olive oil and these other, and uh, grapeseed oil and different stuff like that. Because it's too, it's, it's, uh, it's concentrated and it's too strong for your hair. So, a few drops will do you some good. Um, so, yeah, that's rosemary oil. Then I have uh, argan oil that I got from Julep. And also, you can use this for your hair as well. I have that argan oil. I'm sorry if you can't see it. Um, I don't know why it's giving me issues. But it's organic Moroccan argan oil from Julep. And I also have tea tree oil. The same thing. These are the essential oils. You want to mix them with carrier oils. And it's like, you know, helps with your scalp and just look up everything because I didn't do that. But I know what they're for. That's why I bought them. So this, I believe I got in my Ipsy bag when I was an Ipsy member and I never used it. And I'm like, wait a minute. This is uh, Josie Marie Organic 100% um, Pure Argon Oil. I have an extra one. So I'll definitely have plenty of that. And I have the Jamaican black castor oil. Um, I love this stuff. So I started using it to re-thicken my thinning hair that I lost, my breakage. 
and I hope this works. I will let you guys know. So, yeah. And this I got from eBay, but you can get it from your health store. I saw it in my beauty supply the other day, but I got the, I'm ordering, I ordered the dark, the extra dark one. So I'm waiting to get that one. And then I got jojoba oil, a small one, but I'm planning to get a big one later. And um, this is good, really, 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 really good for your hair and skin. So, yeah. And grapeseed, as you can see, I love grapeseed for my skin as well. It has a lot of benefits. Um, it's also for your hair. Fantastic. Next oil I have is sunflower oil. And the next oil I have is avocado oil. Now, let me come back and show you all my oils together. All right. We're back. These are all my oils that I have in my collection. I put everything together. Just want you to see what I have. So, I know you may say, oh, that's just too much. It's different. I don't use them all together all the time. It depends on what I feel like I need more of. And, um, you know, I, I, I know what they're for because that's why I bought them for me. But I can't remember exactly. But I know when I'm ready to use it, I'm like, okay, if I can't remember something, I'll go and look on, you know, um, the information I have. But when I, I know when my hair is dry, I definitely know what to use. Uh, avocado oil, apricot oil, um, the Jamaican black castor oil, and coconut oil. Those are ones that I will definitely go to when I feel my hair needs a lot of moisture. So, yeah. Just wanted to let you see what I have. Alright, so thank you for watching my video. I hope this helps somebody. And um, if you have any questions and I need to, and you want to ask me, if I don't know the answer, I'll find it for you and then I'll definitely get back to you and let you know. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I appreciate your support. And I'm trying to be more frequent now, so just bear with me. Don't chop my head off. <laughs> All right, you guys. God bless and good night.